Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, some people complain here about the browser interaction on Android. Uh, some people make for iOS and Android uh, the app browser and everything um, using the full guest client just for their needs. I think it's too much. Uh, you can go much faster, much smaller, and much more native, especially on iOS devices. Uh, so um, I'm the main maintainer of the web free Swift. We have this library uh, for maybe two months. It does everything. It does a private key generation, secure storage, all security lifted from the user, users and developer shoulders. Uh, very standards like uh, 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 hierarchic deterministic wallet generation, seed phrase processing, standard key tree, everything. It also enforces some things like uh, replay protection. So you can just take it as a pod for standardized developers. I mean, as developers will understand and use it straight in your app. Uh, here we decided to demonstrate few possibilities. We made a browser and we made a wallet. For now, trivial, except in the browser, you can interact with any contract natively from a Swift. So there is no bridging to JavaScript. So to use various tools from JavaScript to interact with the contract. You just supply, we hard coded one contract. You can just supply the API, parse it natively, present the interface for your parameters, yeah. submit the transaction. Wait a second, a uh, small addition. So as we see, there is a lot of mobile uh, movement in blockchain industry. But for now, nobody works exactly directly with the smart contracts, only with the apps. So our browser can uh, send transactions directly to smart contract without any interface. So that's uh, the huge difference between any other browsers that are already available. So it's, I think it's one of the first implementation, native and direct. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to yeah. make an app for production, you can either Integrate a browser, just hide it like it's not a browser, make a wonderful UI and everything. I don't know about the speed. Sometimes it's slow. Uh, that's why there, is, there are native iOS applications and usually it's favorable. You can do the same all native and you can just take a native iOS developer who doesn't know JavaScript at all and just make it can build a wonderful application. Uh, just for a demo, yesterday was a great street musician here. He was accepting the Ethereum. Uh, yeah, I we will just show up the small demo. Alex, can you show where it is? Uh, okay. So we taken a QR code from him. He wa he was willingly accepting a serial, and just for purposes of uh, of the demonstration of how it can work and natively uh, and securely, I have a screencast from my iOS device. Uh, Quick time. Quick time here. Yeah. Okay, we will show the real example. Yeah, we want to send him Ethereum right now from device natively without any side integrations. Too many apps, sorry guys. Yes. Uh, so, so just a simple UI. We can do everything. We can import seed phrases, make uh, deterministic key stores, store it securely encrypted by default, never expose a private key, even in memory. You sign a transaction, you require a password, you delete it from memory. It's just enforced for users' own security. And then iOS devices, in general, right now, is the most secure device. You know, there was a yes. leakage of private keys from Android devices. The more secure is just uh, yeah, cold right wallet. Yeah, right now, it's so. for uh, a main net. The problem is, yeah, internet is fine. Uh, it's just my main address. Uh, we want, and I copied a destination, a street musician. We want to send him twenty-five dollars. Yeah, something right like now. this. Uh, good good number. number. Yeah. Power of two. Yes, power of so two. So we can just send. Uh, my password was hard coded. Still, yes. only for UI purposes. This is standard. I mean, the same way as MetaMask. You get everything. You, user gets all the data. The gas limit is taken from this uh, infra node. The current gas price is obtained from infra node. You can. If you interact with the smart can you can even call. We maybe we'll have time to demonstrate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but otherwise we can just send it. Uh, first, yeah. Yay. Okay. So you and can the find this address is on the main net. We yes. can close it and maybe get uh, and maybe open a browser. Anyway, there is uh, about uh, forty seconds to mine. So there is a QA question. If you have any question, feel free to ask, and we will show up that. It's not clear to me what you built this weekend and what you built before. 
this browser, uh, we, uh, this completely built uh, right, right from the scratch right now. Okay, so this yes. is a wallet part. This is a wallet part, guys. Uh, the browser, well, we'll not have time to do this, but we also committed the browser, like two branches. I was working on a wallet for UI. Peter was working on a browser. If you want, we can demonstrate it after it just come. It's also on my, uh, my phone. So you can open a SAMD app. We, you, we can open, like, uh, pick a number, the one you can pay and like, get a number, uh, and do it the same. It's just completely uh, like a MetaMask for some external D app. And the same way security is lifted by a library, users just can use it. No problem. Yeah, so, thanks. Yeah. Thank you.